Hey everybody, it's Video Bob. We're about to embark on an adventure to the Four Corners Rally. Here it is in August 2001. Waiting on the rest of the guys to get here. It's going to be a Lone Star ride. As you can see from the emblem here on my breather, isn't that something? That's right. Everything is packed and ready to go. Look at the bike. Put the backpack on there. We are ready to ride. The uh, guys will be here any time now. So as soon as they get here, uh, we'll get a little bit of an interview from them. A little pre-interview. What they expect of the rally. What they think about the ride. And, uh, you know, how they're feeling. Because it's early in the morning. Right now it's like... 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30, 4 o'clock, I don't know. When it's this early, who can tell? I'm usually going to bed right about now. So, we'll see what happens when they get here. Oh, there's Mike. Actually, kind of late. Mm -hmm. I figured you'd be here earlier. Oh, I was trying to. Did you, uh. Right on time. See my sticker? Oh, yeah. Hey, that fit on there real good. Good spot for it. So, how you feeling this early in the morning? Oh, real good. You're used to this kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So, I'm, just, I'm just glad I could wake everybody else up. So, uh, so, so, what? Did, what was Al saying? Was he was he half asleep? Uh, he's acting like he wasn't asleep. <laughs> trying to trying to fake it. Trying <laughs> yeah, to yeah, he was faking it real good though. You're a good faker, Al. Uh, he should be on his way shortly. It's, yeah. it's a lot chillier than I thought it would be, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Because even though I've got a long sleeve shirt on and my LSI shirt, on, it's still a little chilly. Mm -hmm. And when the father would go out, it's going to get a little chillier. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should break out more stuff. I don't know. Now you'll be all right. The sun will come up. Let me. Here we go. Check it out. Testing. System ready. Voice alert. Can you hear that when it's going now? Oh, yeah. You'll hear Jake's thing. Weather on. Tonight. The main hazard associated with these storms will come from cloud to ground lightning. However, due to the high moisture levels and low wind speeds in the mid levels of the atmosphere, as loud as it gets. some downpours of rain could cause some localized free flooding. The current time is 3.58 a.m. Central Daylight Time. That's pretty cool. You are listening to... So how long do you think it'll take us to get there? Oh, probably driving time and us goofing off, 14 hours. That's a long time. Yeah, but you break down in two days. Long, long time to be on a motorcycle. Oh, no, 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 no. Just a matter of waiting on now. I got this big backpack, and this thing kind of drags oh, you down a little. Uh, your pack's pretty good there. That loop profile like yours set up. Hopefully by next year I'll have one of these.
so glad you make it, decided to to uh, to join us. <laughs> Pretty nice, Alan. Uh, big ass. Got a full tank. So is it cold? I reset my trip meter. Is it cold out there? Well, it's going to be when you get to low spots. Yeah, as soon as we just get out this way, it's in the 60s. Yeah, it's going to get chilly out there real quick. Mm -hmm. I got my long sleeve on. My long sleeve on. I got my, well, I got my coat handy. I got all my shoes. Yeah, that's the only problem. My stuff isn't handy. It's wrapped up. <laughs> I figured I wouldn't need it till tomorrow when we're in the mountains. You never know. Andy's handy. You, sure felt good you got this thing you. loaded down, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got that same bag I used to have. Hell yeah. He's a flea market guy. He had to go set up out there if he wants to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I break down, I can always start, start business right there on the spot. Yeah. Now you got your coat on. You're ready. I'm ready, man. Well, shit, what are we waiting for? Uh, everybody ready? or? I guess. You got to run in and get you something? How far have we gone, Mike? Oh, probably about 175 miles, or let's see here. Yeah. 163 miles. And we stopped, stopped here at the Brown Cow. They call it the Brown Cow because after you get it's to got eat, some brown ram. As soon as you, a couple hours later, we're going to shit a brown cow. About that. Mike's ready for his uh, safety meeting for get too after far After breakfast the road. Uh, mint. Road check. After dinner mint. <laughs> and he's quite impressed with his new weather radar detector. Which isn't picking up shit out here in the middle of nowhere. Where are we at? Wichita Falls? Uh, no, past we're past Wichita Falls. Uh, we're, uh, well, I'm not sure the name of the town. We're Next big one's Amarillo, probably what, 150, 75 miles or something. Uh-oh, there goes some there bikes. Goes, there goes some more scooters. Miles, They're on their yeah. way. What, isn't that what it says on that sign? Uh, but, uh, 72 hours. 372 ounce steak, if you could eat it. Oh, yeah. Like an hour or something, it's great. Easy. Bob could eat it. I don't know. <laughs> well, you sure are getting down on that tee. It's good, huh? Hey, I'm trying to, man. It's hot. Testing. About Mr. High Tech. Voice alert. Well, we're uh, just part way through our trip. We've had breakfast at the uh, at the wonderful Brown Cow Restaurant, and uh, now we're about ready to uh, get back on the road after Mike has his dinner mint. Chance of thunderstorms. Hmm. Checking the weather, making sure we don't end up in the rain because rain sucks. <laughs> well, 
Uh, of course, we've got the uh, the Yamahu over there. <laughs> we're in Verna, 15 miles Wichita Falls. Hear that? We're in Verna. Yes, Wichita Falls. All right, well, let's uh, pack this shit up. Let's get that sun down. Well, how about that, Al? <laughs> We are now inside a, an old and abandoned restaurant in New Mexico. The clear weather that we were supposed to have turned into shit. We were driving into a solid wall of rain. We found this abandoned building. We was lucky to find this nice place. Yeah, and we pulled right on in here. So we're soaking wet, freezing to death, but eating chips. <laughs> it's fucking cold. Mm -hmm. like right now, it's in Fort Worth, it's like a hundred something degrees, but let's see if we can see that rain. Got yeah. all the windows are busted out. Yeah, that'll it's about ready to blow over. Look at this place. I guess our Goldwing friend decided to uh, skip. He went back there, buddy. There. I thought he was going to try to come in. I was hoping he wasn't. It wouldn't give room for me to get in here. I know. Okay, well, I'm going to put the camcorder up, keep it from getting away. Well, this is what it's all about, eh? You know, it's the fun and the adventure. What makes the trip a trip. It's not the destination, it's the journey. I just stay here till it stops raining. always a bright side. At least we're saving on hotel.
Go check it out, and then there's a hotel right there. Right there. Make, hmm? Making sure everybody knows where they're going. Would you like to explain what happened last night? Since the camera was off, we were driving in the rain. Oh yeah, you just want to go to video. Bob's wanting to go to Las Vegas. He says, "Oh, we're that close to Las no, Vegas." No, 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 no. Let's tell go. him the real said, story. Yeah, now, okay. Now, I won't said, you tell the real story? I said, if he wants to go to Las Vegas, we'll that, take him. That was it. We'll take him and to Las Vegas. And then we get there, and he goes, this ain't the Las Vegas I was looking for. And I go, well, shit, this is Las Vegas, uh, New Mexico. Why don't you tell him the part where you said, well, I think 25 North goes north, so we went 60 miles in the opposite direction. But what? you got some beautiful scenery. Tell the part yeah. about video Bob bitching and whining all through it. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait a minute. I believe Mike was the one bitching and moaning. I'm just going to sleep on my bike. Me? No. <laughs> You're thinking of somebody else. Well, so what do you think of this view, Al? Beautiful. We're here at the Echo Amphitheater, but it's closed to the public, apparently. And that's the uh, Echo part. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. You have to be closer. Wouldn't it be great to make a living right here in all this? I'd love to be able to work out here and live in this. I wonder if they have the concert hall in there or something, I guess. I don't know. No, it don't look like it. It looks like it's just... It costs $2 per car, according to that sign. When it's open? Good thing it's closed. Put a few of these <laughs> in your pocket. I'm munching on some, uh, on some delicious, uh, what do you call them? Mints. No, some sunflower seeds. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I'll put them right here. Pretty you don't want us to tell you, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're hilarious. Man, I can't believe all my shit stayed dry, man. I am really thrilled with that. Time. How about that rain last night? It was great. It was so bad. But the brand new radar detector that he's so proud of is now broken because it got wet. Doesn't but it's under warning, and I will send it back. Yeah, because it was defective when you got it, as, yeah. as I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wouldn't work all the time. Yeah, it's bad, 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 bad. There's somebody in a motorhome over there waiting for us to leave so they can smoke a joint or whatever they were doing before we showed up. Interrupted their party. Yeah, they got. The Don't leave out the part about video Bob killing the poor helpless snake. Mm -hmm. I seem to remember a couple other people throwing rocks at it too. <laughs> we ran into a, a couple of heathens. I don't know who they were, but they were a couple of heathens. Yeah. We ran into a big rattlesnake. It was huge. It's about as big as that bungee cord, actually. Matter of fact. Oh yeah. Souvenir. We uh, killed the rattlesnake with a brick, with a big rock. With a bare brick. And then uh, knife. Pulled out the trusty knife. And look at that bloody snake tail with the rattler. That is. Disgusting. <laughs> Is that what good? we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rattles. He shed seven times. How about that? We're snake murderers. I can tell how upset Al is over the situation. Breaks my heart. I kind of felt bad about it actually afterwards. That's what you said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As he said, give me the knife, let's cut its tail off. Yeah, and I was smashing its head with a rock. 
Yeah, so, I threw another I feel rock and bad. I feel bad about this. And, and you were standing on its head. Well, I didn't want him to see how he was suffering. <laughs> Can you imagine the water pouring off that and it's heavy rain? What a view, eh? There's my, that. Get all my heads the right way. Mm -hmm. I like to have my head the right way myself. And what are you going to do with that? Well, y'all want to roll down the road and see what else we can find? I think so.
Well, here we are. Finally in the motel. Hey! I guess we don't really need this. Here we are in Cortez. Cortez, Colorado. We all got together after... Got some ice? After an arduous journey, we we're all together. Brothers in arms once again. Yeah. Isn't it grand? And, and, and the reason Jim is so yeah, mellow is because he's got <laughs> the bottle of, ja of, of Jack Daniels, oh, the Crown Royal, Jack Daniels. I have my cigars. Cigars. Uh, super hot beef jerky. Yeah. They're popping volumes over here. No, no, I haven't done that. No, I don't do that. Yeah, you were pretty, uh, last time in Sturgis you popped the volume, you were pretty giddy. Well, that was, uh, I was in pain. I was in a lot of pain that day. Yeah. But I'm not in pain today, so I'm doing okay. Look out, in this giant room we have two queen beds there and then another separate room with another one there. That's Jim's personal quarters. And uh, personal quarters. looks like I have the couch tonight. Of course I'll be... How many times do uh, you get personal quarters in a row? <laughs> Every time he arranges the room, I, I guess it. As long as, as long as we're here, I mean, yeah. just two or three days. <laughs> as long as you're not captain, you got That's this. Right. As long as I, I'm the first one here, I get preference on their quarters. Yeah. Right. Let's check out the. Uh, look at this. He's got his own goddamn. Yeah, he's got his shit. Oh, look at it. It's it looks like he's been living here for a year. God damn. I mean, well, it's. Hey, I think you did that too. You wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You carried all that shit on the Have you been wearing your vest? I think you might have. Uh, did you well, bring your colors? I have my colors with me. Yes, I do. Did you wear them? Yes, I've, I've worn them. Yes. Checking you know, out for you. You see, you do have them with you, though. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. And uh, there's Mike over there. That's my favorite comedian. Yeah, Robin great. Williams. He likes. Good to see he you. likes Robin he's Williams. Old, yep. Well, you're pretty old. Yeah, but the difference is, he has enough money, he can have it reversed. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a little video of Dave Myers. Look at this. We got a fridge. Look at Jerry Jones. Two sinks. And uh, of course, I've already been there. <laughs> How you doing, handsome? Pretty boy. They're having a <laughs> They're having a fight. <laughs> no, keep going. Damn, I hate I hate uh, give him a, I, give I him a hate pink that belly. The Marine Corps didn't get it. <laughs> All right. Who wants to hold the camera while I body slam Al? <laughs> Do that again for video. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wants to body slam me. God damn. Let me catch my breath. It was hard to walk through the region one day. <laughs> so, now, hey Jim, I think... <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting, I think Bob. the room should be... I'm waiting, Bob. It's your best shot. I think the room should be... The bed should be sold by auction according to... Ah, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're back to the fucking, we're back to the dictatorship, aren't we, Bob? Anyway. We're still back to the dictatorship. Uh, Brushing your teeth? Oh, oh. both of them. <laughs> you know, are you motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wake and old, but I ain't fucking in your teeth. He's ready, man. <laughs> Mike's still brushing his tooth. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, uh, they yeah, been that, drinking. Is yeah, sure. Is that volume kicking in yet? Yeah, I might need another one after that. Is the volume <laughs> kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I jacked up 
my shoulder. No one that's been fighting all the time. Keep that camera handy. Huh? Keep that camera handy. You feel like what? Uh, left shoulder, I've been fucking fighting your fighting. bad shoulder. Yeah. Damn, I wish you <laughs> well, we're up here in the mountains. Hey, Jim, come here. You're the tour guide. Tell us a little bit about where we are. And okay, we're at the uh, Mesa the Verde doing? National Park. This is where the uh, cliff, cliff dwellings for the Anasazi Indians are at. The first one over here is the uh, pit dwelling. We'll look at that in a moment. Which was built like in 600 AD, they say. So we're about to go over there and we'll give you a look see at it, man. How'd you like that ride through the mountains? Beautiful. How about you, Al? Loved it. Uh, Loved yeah. it. Can't Looking for some more black bear. And there's Hank taking a tourist photo. Y'all feeling that Rocky Mountain high? <laughs> oh, we're working on it. Love it. Just the right amount of that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a stone on the edge right here. It really went all the way out there. And that separated out this back area, which is the kitchen, from the living area. This is where they slept. And this was a single family dwelling. Elise and her husband, her mother, and their kids lived here. Nobody else, just single family. Her husband lived with her, yeah. Her husband, Lisa and her husband, their kids, mother, maybe father, maybe Lisa's father was there, depending on where they were. <laughs> but there were many of these scattered all around. This is the most prevalent of the houses because it was single family dwelling. And so they were all around here, but they weren't working as groups yet. They were working as individual families, small, small family units. So it was a, Elise's brothers might be down the road just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I guess everything had a roof on it down there too, huh? Mm -hmm. They uh, they, put, they use uh, logs yeah, uh, for uh, the tower, roof and then they can put like a thatch over it. So what do you think about that real estate, Jim? Well, it looks like it'd be very nice uh, quarters to live on. You know, I'd, I'd be willing to make a bid on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you? Uh, yeah, I like the uh, third story down there. Pretty yeah. Fun. I get that one pit there. That looks like it could be a... Uh, I'm sure one of those pits is, was for water. Yeah, for storing water, you know. Like how they built the little windows in there. Yeah. So I wonder how many people lived in that community there. Oh, probably not much more than about 20 or 25, something like that, probably. And what, what year was this? This was supposed to be 1200 A.D. This particular one. Hmm. The last one we just saw, that was 600 A.D. Well, they, they sure liked to have a place with a view. I mean, look at this. Man, you should see how far this thing zooms. Look at this. You zoom in. We'll play it later. You get some good footage today. Yeah, well. Downhill. Yeah, but it the flows, it don't carry. <laughs> Zoom on this thing is amazing. It's unbelievable. Did you get a good zoom of the dwelling? Yeah. So you like this kind oh, of dwelling? Huh? Oh absolutely, I'm having a blast here. The alcove dwellers. I suppose you've already had some uh some footage down there in the in the canyon. Mm -hmm. Well, the uh, the sun's going to get on it later. I'll bet it would be better. Well, I don't know. That thing probably gets in pretty good into the shade. Oh yeah, that's about the. It does real good under low light and no light. Better than this camera, I'm sure. Are we going to come back this way? Uh, no, we're going to go down to the okay. next set of dwellings. Well, I'm going to take a picture where uh, I can do. A little bit better than these, actually, as far as size wise. Is that, Man, that was anybody's a... water down there? Yeah, it's mine. Right. Um, Thank you, Pooh. Thank you. When they were there, from when to when, like they got between 600 and 1200 AD, that was the one up on the platform. What was that? Last time I was here was back in 1981, after I got my wings from the Marines. I brought my wife up here, Katie. Did a little tour of the 
Pueblo's up here, and it's been since 1981. Do you, do you remember coming here before to the pit houses and Pueblo's? Oh. Sounds, sounds like a barbecue and um, grill, doesn't it? <laughs> Welcome to the pit house and Pueblo. <laughs> Two dollar shot special all night. You were on duty. Mm, fire water. Now what is this over here? Is that it? That's one of the that's the pit house. Oh. Is that where they've been uh, excavating? Skipping that, huh? Yeah, that's that's what I mean, if you want if you want this hair tie, I'll get it to you. Ah, we'll get it later. We're looking at the uh, jacuzzi here. People who live in holes on the next road. Ain't that something? This is a pretty deep hole. Well, maybe this is how you get in and out. Look at this thing. This one's pretty weird. Oh yeah, ceremonial yeah, old chamber. Yeah, that's a real fancy deal What?
Well, tell us where we are, Hank. Well, we're at uh, the Four Corners National Monument. And uh, we just checked out where Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico come together in a single point over there. I'd appreciate it if you'd get a little uh, footage on these lovely flag flappers out here. Oh, here. There's some over there that they, they, those are the four state flags and little t shirts. Oh, yeah, the t shirt stand, yes. Oh, I just realized they took the flag there. Right? Yeah, they, they just took that about five minutes ago. I think the Colorado. Let's go take a look at it. having some fun. I can't believe this thing goes in that close. We're having a great time here today. Hope that, uh, oh man, it does get in close. Yeah, I got that. Then you do like a pan on some of this beautiful, see where the sun's still hitting out there? This is gonna help. It costs two bucks here. to get in here. That's the half over. It's been a hell of a trip. The wind is blowing us in all over the I guess we'll get out of here. Uh, we've been to Four Corners and uh, been all over the place, so here we go. We're uh, just about ready to leave Four Corners. Where are we going? Hey Hank. I think still in Hank, the I understand that you took a nasty spill a few moments ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hey. Yeah, physical evidence. You know. Check this out. I used to have this a This is a defaulty. And no scratches on there. I'm you got over a few of that? Oh, well, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Camera two, camera two. <laughs> yes, it was uh, Explain what happened? It was um, it was a harrowing experience. I uh I was I was leading, so I was leaving first and everybody was to my Right, and um, I left this helmet 
That's the reason there's crash damage on it. It's not because I was wearing it. It's because I left it on the brake pedal. And um, anyway, so I started out, and in the usual, right as you leave, I don't know if you ever notice, everybody has to put a little rear brake on to stand it back upright again and control your departure. And when I went for the brake, all I got was my foot on this thing. So I promptly fell right over. Um, and some part in the back here hit poor old um, Al's bike here on the left front, knocked him down. And then he almost knocked Mike down. But Mike saved it. Thank God for Mike. A little like, close up on Mike, please. Way. <laughs> it was this way then. And Al and, uh, over there. Uh, and then I couldn't even pick up my own damn scooter. So all these nice people, I don't even know who, came and rushed to the scene. That's Bullet Bob. We'll check out the... There's the uh, physical the damage. Too. Don't forget the back one there. Yeah. We did the work of the bike shop. It's about time for that wet t-shirt contest. Wet t-shirt contest. Let's go do it. What Let's time go. was that? 8 or 8.30? Right about now. 8 o'clock. What time is it? About, about time to go get them. Time to go seven. cash in some of that beer tea. I've been Man, watching them right up there. Again. Is, no, there, is there anything okay. under there? <laughs> you need to loosen them strings a little. They're a little too tight. Let's, they must be free. Here we, what's this say? Lick me till I scream. <laughs> <laughs> so if she's a screamer, we know that. You missed her she's shirt. <laughs> well, you, biker rally camera, you know what to do. We're all waiting. Anybody got a dollar? Nice puppies. See, there's a cardboard sign over there. All women must show titties when they no, enter. No, 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 no. Well, we got down the rock. We couldn't get to the campground. So my wife showed her. We need a champ. We need some guys over here. She had her shirt on that said, show me your dick, so. <laughs> she doesn't have none now. Oh, okay. Well, it's under three layers of stuff. I have to dig it out with a pair of tweezers. Hey, are you going to wear that hat the whole night? Yeah. Okay. Un let them free. Unzip. <laughs> Give them a toy and right away. Pull them down. Pull, pull them down. Pull them down. Oh, we did that. God damn it. These are some prissy bitches. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay, you want to see this girl do her thing? No, oh, how did you get at it?
Sanchez. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, sweetheart, where are you from and what's your name? Jamie. Rachel from Grand Junction, Colorado. Grand Junction, Colorado. Did you write here, honey? I wrote all the way. She wrote all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Mary Jane. Let's go.
spilled the beer. She she needs a proper punishment. Why don't you go ahead and take that shirt off here? For the... <laughs> you ain't seen no boobies yet, man. <laughs> hey, have you got any boobies? No, no, not at all. You ain't got no boobies, huh? Woo! There you go. There you go. You're going to jail, young lady. Like I need to see some ID. There's a tent over there. You can win the best titty contest over there. That's where we're going. <laughs> I got night vision on this motherfucker. Hello, ma'am. I'm with the National Show Me Your Titties Association. We're looking for donations. <laughs> Look at you. you. Have you had a, few, a little bit to drink tonight? Of course. Of course. And, and tell us about the shirts. Says, when in doubt, knock them out. Yes. What do you knock out? Uh-oh, got a Hyundai backwards accelerating here. That could be the And yeah, if I told you, yeah. I that's what they support your local big red machine. Okay. And you're a, quite a lovely, busty young gal. Look at you. You should be in that blue and white tent down at the back where they're having a contest for the best breastuses being displayed. Okay. What do you guys think? Go ahead. Whip off the shirt. Set those things free. It's hot outside. Show us them your balls in. You got a pair of tweezers on you? <laughs> I'm from Texas, though, you know. What? Don't they have? Yeah, pretty much. You know how hard it is to find a size 14 shoe? It's pretty tough. <laughs> oh, hell. To Cortez? Which way are you going out tomorrow? I haven't, I haven't quite decided yet. Well, this is right on the way out. Y'all can come get me. We can do that. We can go with your uh, camping stuff, right? We can be up bowling. Yeah, I either got to pack it up now or. Are um... so you going to spend the night here? Yeah, man, I got too much time to sleep. What about all your shit at the. the uh, you yeah, that's that's the problem. Problem. Now and just bring it on with you. Yeah, we'll have to ask you. To... Oh, okay. We can come by Otherwise, here and get you know, it you if, you, if you want. My shit. Well, my shit's mostly in two bags. You want to pack it up now? Or do you want to come back and get it in the morning? Excuse me, Bob. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Too. That's all right. Looks like it's going to be a lovely Yeah, but night. the thing is, hey, how are we going to carry your shit that's at the hotel, though? That's well, that would be the hard part. Well, I'll tell you, if I had my tent here, I'd be right here, too. Like hey, that, I, just I tell you right just now. hurry up and pack your shit. Let's go. I ain't no hurry. Come on, you can come, out, you can come out this way on the way out, right? Get yeah. Him. I guess. You know what, though? It's going to kill a lot of our time. How much time? Because we're going to stop and we're going to fuck off and talk and we need to be moving. Because I know how y'all are. How are we? Y'all fuck off a lot. <laughs> yeah, well that's hey. what our life is all about. Just fuck yeah, but my brother Al said if he had his tent here, he'd be right here. Right here. <laughs> Listen, I love fucking off, but we got a short period of time to go about 800 and something miles. Are you going back in one day? Yeah. We're, we're not going back in one day. <laughs> well, we're going back well, as far you're as we're only going 450 miles or so tomorrow, right? Yeah, we can. All right, I'm shutting this shit down.
There he is. So, so what are your thoughts on this uh, grandiose day? I got a way out right around here. Nobody's blocking me. Nobody's blocking. Oh, probably here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to take care of them. Where are we parking at? Uh, he just out of the aisle. I'm gonna get some bikes for now. That's why I didn't bring my video cam. I knew he'd bring his. <laughs> yes. Try his video bus. So, so what are your thoughts on this grandiose occasion? Uh, so, a, a very good occasion for Hammer to tie the knot. Better him than us, right? <laughs> yeah, we've already done it. So. We were, yeah, <laughs> we've already done that. Once is enough. We're hoping that he'll join the miserable ranks of the rest of us. Yeah. It's a slow death from here out. <laughs> As Mike said. You think it'll settle him down any? Nah, not really. No, really not. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Here we're beginning the biker tradition of the row of bikes. Starting with Curly and, uh, of course, Cowboy. So tell us, how are you, what are you thinking about today? Any uh, messages you want to send to the bride and groom? Best of luck. You'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think he's ready to join the miserable ranks of the rest of the married world? Oh yeah. With the rest oh, of us? Yeah. It'll be her day, but it'll be his night. <laughs> well, I see Mike is already preparing the 2K! Shit, I sure wish I was taping that. <laughs> They got you on stapler duty? Huh? They got you on stapler duty? Yeah. The complicated machinery there. Yeah, I'm not sure I know how to operate all this shit. Look at that. Big party tray. How about that? How you doing, Charlotte? How do you feel about this festive occasion? <laughs> I'm camera shy. She's camera shy. Is that right? <laughs> That's not what I heard. <laughs> what do you think somewhere else? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, all right. I got this So, LB. What's going on, man? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I'm glad it's him, not me. <laughs> I'm happy for him, but I'm glad it ain't me. <laughs> That's all I can say. You think he's going to settle down? Oh, hell no. no. No way? No. I've been married twice, and all that crap about third time's a charm is just that crap. I don't need to go through it again. <laughs> but I'm happy for them. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> right, let's see who else has some. So, uh, right behind you here. Anything you want to say to uh, the bride and groom? Good luck. Many happy ones.
That'll work for me. Um, yeah, gonna be sorry. <laughs> no, I don't think I've met the boy. Here, we've already seen you screwing around putting them speakers up now. You had that screwdriver screwing them screws in the wall, so don't be screwing around no more. So, uh, how many times has it been for you? I've you, seen him screw around twice. Uh, how, how many times have you been married? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, once and six. Once and six? Yeah. <laughs> so, seven times? Me, I lost count. One out of How many is it, James? <laughs> How many is it now for me? About four, five, six. Yeah. I lost count. Yeah, you're it's up good. there. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them maybe even got a week out of them. <laughs> Learn from Carly, Jesus. Yeah. So, so, so far, my uh, my Vegas wedding has lasted a couple of years now. Because so. she's still in Vegas near here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she knows we're married. You send her a check every two or three days. How many prospects does it take to light a fire? How many prospects does it take to fucking light a fire? Uh, two, apparently. How many, uh, how many strippers does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> one if you turn her upside down. Just well, one. About strippers just one. Here, she man. just holds it up and the world revolves around her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You cuckoo for a Cocoa Puffs? You bet. Take a picture <laughs> of that little cute doggy. Little uh, puppy Rottweiler. Oh, is that oh, what yeah. that is? Yeah. You look just like my Joe. Say, that's killer. <laughs> killer to He's the newest too. member of the Lone Star Independence. <laughs> Mine used to look like that. Now, now he eats, he takes shits that are bigger than that. <laughs> Why do you want to show your butt to the picture? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. A new killer. Yeah, look at that. 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 A new purse? Mm -mm. Something uh, velvety to keep your balls in? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we won't go into her oral fixation. <laughs> Kick my ass for that one. Yes. See, when you're holding these things, nobody knows you're taking a picture like that. That's They're right. used to seeing it like this. You know? Yeah, that's the trick. Let's see the, uh, the row. This guy is marrying her. Okay, right behind you. Oh, yeah? Okay, hold on just a second. I'm gonna, uh, get a uh, shot of the, the aisle. So you're, uh, you're the one doing the marrying? Yeah, I'm afraid so. <laughs> afraid so. so who is the best man? Me. You? <laughs> mm -hmm. I always wondered, you know, if you have a... For her, anyway. You have the groom, and then you have the best man. I'm mean, like, if he's the best man, why is she marrying him? Yeah, really. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it should be the groom, and then here's a pretty good guy. Yeah. Hey, Greg, this is Hank. I hope you're here. I'll be married in about 15 minutes. Bye. What's your name? Me? Or him? No, him. <laughs> That's Buster. Buster? Look at me. You camera shy, are you? <laughs> I have a dog that takes bigger crabs than his dog. <laughs> I have a Rottweiler. Right oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'd like to take one bite out of him, swallow him, huh? Nah, he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't bite him on purpose, but he's so little. Look at this little thing. He loves little. people. You just, yes, you do. Yes.
<laughs> can you I better push that sucker, man. <laughs> but if you got a leg, you, you could have wrote this one. Yeah. 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 That, that reminds me to turn everybody's cell phones off. Hey, Sean, can I wear my bike too? Are y'all okay? I'm, I'm a little bit Who is it? Hey, Emmy, what you doing? Oh, man, I appreciate the call. All right, man, I'm fixing to get it. Any minute now. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. This woman today for marriage. I do. Right. My friend Blue. Nope. I thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> <Good. Okay. laughs> ready? I'm ready. All right. Dear friends, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to join John de Bartolo and Cindy Louise Neal in holy matrimony. Marriage is a serious vow, not only between two people, but all the families and friends involved in their life. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we have a responsibility to support and uphold this new family. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this decision that they make, and I ask you in the name of Jesus that they would uh, be blessed during this time and for the rest of their lives. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Okay, face each other. Do you, John, <laughs> take Cindy to be your wedded wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and protect her, forsaking all others, keeping yourselves only to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Cindy, take John to be your wedded husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him? Honor him and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only to him, so long as you both shall live. I will. <clears throat> John, repeat after me. Mm. I, John. I, John. Take Cindy. Take Cindy. To be my friend and wife. To be my friend and wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. Richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and cherish till death do us part. Cindy, repeat after me. I, Cindy. I, Cindy. Take John. 
Take John. To be my husband and friend. To be my husband and friend. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. Richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish him till death do us part. To love and cherish him till death do us part. Uh, do you have rings? Yes, we do. <laughs> okay. Give them to John. I'm gonna do See, I thought you done trade them for that man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rings are a symbol of your faith and love for each other. They are never-ending circles of precious metal, which represent the bond between husband and wife. You, John, take this ring and place on the third finger of the bride's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my faith and love. Pledge my faith and love. Receive it as a symbol. Receive it as a symbol. Of our unbroken union. Of our unbroken union. And our endless love. And our endless love. Okay, Cindy, you take that over. Take this ring and place it on the groom's third finger of the left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge my faith and love. I pledge my faith and love. Receive it as a symbol. Receive it as a symbol of our unbroken union. Of our unbroken union. And our endless love. And our endless love. Now that you, John and Cindy, have pledged <clears throat> love to each other and have sealed that pledge by the exchanging of rings and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What hey! God has joined together, let no man put us under. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> ZZ with a flower on it. Huh? Looking dapper. Looking dapper? That's right. You look dapper. You know, very, very gentlemanly like with your corsage. <laughs> There you go. It's, it's running right now. It gets a video of me. Uh, welcome to the uh, married ranks with the rest of us miserable married guys. Uh, hope everything works out. And she continues to let you come to the meetings. <laughs> it's recording. If you want to go around and do some stuff, I need to take off. I left. You pulled it. me with that pen, you know. Hey, your daughter put it on me. Well, she didn't do very good job. Ain't those ain't silly girls. <laughs> I'll see all y'all later. I got this. All right, thanks, but I appreciate it. Give me a copy of it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to edit it all together. If you get with all the people who videotaped it, right? I've, I've been off and on six since Friday. I've been a chance. I've been off and on six since Friday, so I ain't eating. I've been hot still. Those are pretty spicy. Oh, yeah. Lord. Ooh, that's shrimp. Awful. Oh, God. I can't smell seafood. I get sick. I'm sorry. 
I ate a raw fish one time when I was a survivor. Come here, come here. I, I can't deal with fish. No. I mean, what? Together, so it's always nice to have a situation in an occasion like this. And I always remember that when you hurt, everybody hurts. When you're happy, everybody's happy. So here's here's my wishes. Good. For now on, it's not nothing but prosperity. You bet. Happy. <laughs> now let's all get very well done. Let's get over it. Let's get naked. Well, okay, Ray. You first. You're doing it well, Ray. Right. Right. I'll right. get drunk. Right. <laughs> Where? This is your brain. I'm raising your brain on drugs. It was all good, and it was worth it. Right. It's always good to be on the good side. Once in a while. Better get you something. Um, I got you. <laughs> that penny's hurting my heart. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Probably. Oh, you did. I remember that. Curly? 